Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will see one CSS property called C birth. So let's begin our session. So birth is the area covered by the element content horizontally. And when we specify birth, it is excluding margin padding and border. Suppose we are giving 100 pixel. So it does not this 100 pixel does not include margin padding and border it is the content size horizontally so there are many units to measure the birth i have i have mentioned here the ones which are used widely percentage and px percentage is the relative birth to related birth with respect to very parent of that particular element and absolute birth is Respective of that, but you know, respective of the particular parent. Practically, we will also see all this on this birth property how it works, how we can calculate it uh, for inline element, block element, image element. Also, how it works with the float property. Also, we will see how to make particular element responsive using the birth property. So let's move on to the practical let me inspect this so there is a division there is a div and there is a p p is the child of div this div so in the div also i have mentioned birth this birth and the p also both, the, both these birth are same so when we are using p px it is the absolute birth it is not dependent on the parent birth like it is absolute 500 pixel no matter what is the birth of the parent for example at the moment i have given this if i modify this to it will not be impacted you can see it is uh, parent is now 100 you can see this here till here and then this is the child so it has exceeded that parent and if we mention this in the percentage if we are mentioning this birth in the percentage means this birth is respective to the parent of that particular tag like this tip dev is the and what is the parent of it is body means this body is the whole window of the browser or the screen of the media whole screen of the media right this this from here to here so if i have mentioned let me mention here 100 percent what is means it means is 100% of the parent. Parent is the body and body is the size of the browser window, which is the this 100% complete size. Means what is the size of it? It would be what is the size? It would be the, the size of the div would be same, similar, exactly same as body because this is the 100%. So let's see what is the body size. You can see body size 1180 so that's it would be the same 1180 you can see so in this bo box model we can see what is the size how much size particular how much this particular element is taking okay so now we have seen for this and similar to this like uh, let's say i have mentioned sorry birth here 50 percent what is this what does this mean 50 percent of the parent what is the parent 100 percent 100 percent is coming out 1180 so what would be the 50 percent 590 okay so this is how it is calculated in this percentage so one thing we need to Keep in mind about this percentage, uh, how it is getting calculated. 
for the child and parent. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to next thing is how we can calculate or so in the starting of the video just i mentioned like width does not include margin padding border right so here i have given let me refresh this. let's take let's look at that from px point of view so here 500 pixel let's see the box model in box model this is the actual width 500 this is padding this is border and this is margin there is no padding so that's why hyphen is border uh, we have given one pixel border you can see this and browser calculated is 0 0.99 and 3 left this is left and this is right margin there is no margin we have not mentioned here any margin here also we can see there is no margin so here so actual width is the 500 okay so what is the total width of this element this div how much area this whole div is covering the area means size horizontally size that would be sum of all these properties margin border padding plus content size so for what i mean is margin left plus border left plus padding left plus content size plus this padding right plus border right plus margin right so this is the whole width of the total width basically of the div and this is the actual the width which we have mentioned using the width property okay and this is also similar to that div i mean 500 this same 500 there is no only border mention so it is displaying the border now let's see now currently margin margin is 0 so i have given 10 pixels now you will see this is 10 okay so what is the total width now 500 plus 0.99 i mean this left right and 10 this left so it is coming out 512 5 and 2. Okay. And what is the parent side is 502. So child is 10 pixel exceeding to the parent. That's why you can see this blue border is coming out of the parent. Because size of the parent now is more than size of the this diff or parent. So how we can adjust that? Suppose we have design like we need to give 10 pixel margin. Also, let's see also padding. Padding left. Padding left, I have given 10 pixel. So now it would be 20 pixel more than this. You can see this. This left left border. And this is the margin, this is the padding. So now let's look at the this box model 10 this 0 0.99 10 padding so this is complete now 522 500 plus 10 this 10 this 20 and this one this uh, one and right border there is no uh, right padding and right margin that's why we have not included added so here right now is left border right border one pixel one pixel you can see here two and five five hundred two and ten this ten this twenty so five hundred twenty two this is five hundred two so now twenty is exceeding child is exceeding twenty pixel okay so that's why you can see this is coming out of it so this is how the calculation happened now suppose we have a design like padding we need to give ten pixel margin we need to give ten so and border is one pixel so how we can adjust this like this is not looking nice this is coming out of it right so then we can we need to adjust the width accordingly what i mean is this is 20 more so we can give 480 you can see 
now over getting overlapped if we need to just we need to enclose this there should some space then we can give one more you can see now this left margin also there padding also there this so accordingly we adjust this width so this is how the so this box model is important to understand how this calculation happen okay now let's see <coughs> sorry now let's see with suppose we have not given the birth here if birth is absent from the child then browser automatically calculate the birth for that particular element how does it calculates it uses the birth of the parent and what is the parent here div what is the size of parent 500 so when deciding the birth of this child browser also consider the padding margin border we have provided in that particular child element so here what we have given we have given 10 pixel padding 10 pixel margin left and one border so 22 basically left and right border right 22 pixel so then when browser will automatically calculate the birth this birth property then it will minus from that parent birth 500 minus 22 that should be 478 you can see right this is how it calculates so now 500 this 4870 482 and 20 so 500 so this 10 point plus point 999 plus 10 plus 478 plus 99 it will come it will equal to the 500 pixel of birth of the pair birth of the parent so just folk keep in mind that one pixel is it is not considering okay it is the 500 only it is taking the birth property value of birth property to calculate the birth of the child so this calculation is happen automatically if we are not giving the birth at the child level okay so this is so this box model is important to understand how the calculation happens also in other css property also it also helps to understand the css better so this is how the calculation happened and the same with the same with the pick and that percentage uh, suppose we have given the 100 percent i i think before explaining px i already took the exam i already just explained this but let me explain it again 100 pixel so you can see now 100 pixel is the means the 100 pixel of the parent parent is the body and body is the window browser window so window browser window size is this from here to here so that's why it has covered this size okay now so same for this if i give the birth sorry uh, suppose i have not given the birth here so what would be the size it would be 100 percent because parent size is the child is when we are browser will calculate the birth for it it will check the size of the parent parent is the 100 percent so it will also you can see 1158 and what is the parent 1180 why so 1180 is the parent birth but here the birth is because browser has subtracted or minus the border margin left and minor on my and padding, padding left as i already explained for px right so this total 10 plus 0.2 plus 10 plus 11 58 this is total to the 100 percent means 1180 so this is how the, the calculation happen if we are given the 10 like 50 percent so right now it is so let's give been birth birth in 50 percent 
now you can see it has already taken 50 percent of parent parent is this parent is this and how much it has covered 1180 so this is 590 50 percent of parent 590 it will not be 50 percent of parent so this browser automatically will be 590 50 percent from the 100 percent 100 percent parent it would be a less uh, less than 50 percent exit 50 percent of parent because we have also given the border border and margin left mark padding left so when browser actually calculate as already explained the actual content size for this automatically it minus the this minus the padding margin border from the size of the parent so here it is 780 it will minus 22 minus 22 and then 50 percent of that value so it will approximately 590 this is how the calculation happened this is very much important to understand for to understand it is uh, i mean common thing for css it could be any property we can we can check we will also see this box model in other with other properties so this is how it works the calculation happen now we will see the so just we we have we have seen that uh, for the child if we are not mentioning the birth property in child it will use the parent birth right So now let's see this particular inline element. So inline um, birth pro property does not work with the inline element. Even if we are mentioning birth property with inline element, there will be no effect on the birth of that particular element. For example, I have given span is the inline element and we have taken birth is the 100%. But still you can see 100% uh, just upon 100% and what is the parent of this span? that is the body body means browser browser window size and browser window size this is complete right so but still the, you can see the size of inline element is the is equal to the only size of the content only it is not 100 percent so this 100 percent is being ignored so inline element does not use this birth property even if we specify it it takes the birth as per the size of the actual content which is calculated by automatically by the browser so if we increase this then it occurs it will adjust so now you can see so this is how with inline it works now next thing we will see the, with the float property because it is important to know how birth works with the float property and also we will use the calculation part how we calculated the birth so now you can see there is a one tiger and of this paragraph let me go here let me inspect yeah this is the div and inside this div we have image tag and paragraph this image and paragraph. what is the size 800 pixels image size is 5, 3, 500 pixel and the paragraph 300 so total uh, let's see 800 only no padding no border no more 500 and 300 so basically 500 plus image 500 plus paragraph 300 means 800 equal to the div okay so that's why it is you know uh, why it is in line because we have used the float property so it is float left and that's why this paragraph is wrapping around the image and it is coming in the same line because the size of the child means image plus paragraph size are are, are equal to the parent size 800 so it should not be more than that if this Im image plus paragraph size is more than 800 even it it's 0.1 I mean exceeding then it would not be in the same line let's see let me give here the padding padding left 0.1 pixel you will see right you can see now 
where is there no here it is not where it is this because size has increased now you can see 300 plus 0 0.1 right 300.1 plus 5 so 800.1 which is actually in this end. so that's why i wanted to mention this float property here that if the width calculation is not correct then what would be the result this float might not work float will not work properly so how we can suppose we need to give the padding margin in this so how we can the same thing we can extract this from just give how much 299.99 or it will come this 290.9 and see if we add this it will be around less than or equal to 800 parent size that's why it is again we can see in the same line this is how the width is works so the width calculation is very important and that's why i'm focusing on that again and again and here we can see and this box model now we have seen most of the thing related to birth. The last thing is, uh, let me remove from here just to avoid the any confusion. Lastly, we want to see the responses. How to make particular tag responses using the birth. Suppose we want to, like, we have a one tag div and uh, <coughs> sorry. Suppose we have one tag div and I want to make like the size of the this div should be adjusted as per the screen as per the size of the device or size of the media. Right? So how we can do that? Suppose this is 100 pixel. So for that, let me open this device access so, so that I can test it. You can see current size is 1000 pixel let me give 1000 okay you can see you can see this is on the border is equal to the window this is a window if i increase the window you can see it is not covering the whole window this part so this is the thing which not possible with the px screen pixel right so that's why suppose we have a device called we have a tablet tablet size 800 pixel right and uh, we have given the suppose 700 pixel this width then it will not you know it will not take the whole 800 pixel this border will not expand till 800 pixel because of the px so same with the like we have a display which having a 1200 pixel resolution right and we have given this at 1000 pixel only so it will not cover the whole area of window complete window of that particular display because the because of this pixel because this is not responsive it is not adjusting this tag is not adjusting as per the screen width right you can see even if we are doing it is not so how to make that for that we use the we use percentage what is percent of percentage respect to parent and what is parent window size browser window size it is the complete and 100 percent is there and what is the size of that we can see here 1157 and so is the size of this okay? because this is 100 percent so no matter which device we are opening it would be in the 100 percent of the screen of the device the screen so we can see also let me 500 that's open in the 500 resolution device you can see it is covering the window complete window screen and if we see it would be 500 what is the 97 coming is 97 you can see 100 percent this okay now you can see you can see Take it. we are moving right scrolling right and we are increasing the resolution basically width of the window and this element is automatically adjusting its width also 
because you are this person so now question is when we can use this pre-x and when we should use percentage now suppose we have a requirement like this particular tag division div we want like it should be display as per the width of the size width of the device right so if i am opening this div in the tablet it should take the complete size of the tablet screen if i am opening in the big screen display and it should take the whole screen width so in such cases we should give this you know relative width so this is the we should give the relative width and relative width we use the 100 this percentage so even if we are on a small phone it will accordingly adjust so this is 100 pixel 100 percent means the complete size of the screen so a screen could be anything a screen could be like small a screen could be big so if a screen is is a screen size is small it will adjust according to the small size if it is big it will adjust and when we need to use pixel so pixel we can use in those scenario we are we think like my particular div will not be adjusted respect will not be adjusted for any device as per the screen it will be same for all the devices so no matter how wide the screen is or how small the screen is it would be the same in those cases there would be many you know require this such kind of requirement we when we create a site website where we will have to use this kind of pixel this kind of absolute birth so those case in those cases we can use absolute birth basically pixel so i think uh, we have covered enough of it there is a few property related to birth min birth and max birth those are the different properties and we will see in the next videos since the size of the videos is getting longer so that's it for this session thank you for watching see you in the next video